Hey guys, uh, okay, so this part I'm gonna look at how we can clean this up and what we can learn about how Max might be better organized to help us write um, code like this. So, first thing I notice is that this little guy here, the argument what we're looking for, um, needs to be in a whole bunch of different places, but uh, because all those things are in random different places in our code, um, it's impossible to know or rather we have to send these patch cords all over the place, um, which is silly. So we could do this. We could do send uh, target. But it would be nice just to write target in each of these boxes rather than have to explicitly send, do, explicitly put in these send and receives. That's what I wanted to say. Now, this step down here, obviously, we just want to do, um, and loop. And that should fix this. Loop. Okay, so this is really step one is let's try to separate this by steps because I mean, if we were doing this imperative style, and it would be nice to go back and see how we could try to um, do functional max here. But let's separate this into sort of steps and see if it doesn't help us get any insight into how this might uh, look better. So, Step one is check if it's equal to, so we have steps and branches. We're, it's funny because like the, just the idea of, of branching in Max is something that isn't um, so well defined, right? I mean, here what we want to do is um, if it's zero, return a result, and if it's one, do something else. And down here, for example, we want to do one of three different things depending on whether the middle value is less than, equal than, or greater than what we sent in. But here, the branch is called gate. And here, the branch is called root. And um, yeah, I don't know. So hmm. it's interesting because you actually see these branches as branches, right? This is the if it was empty. So step one, check if list input list is empty. If empty return zero. Okay. Step two. Check if input list has length one. Um, so each one of these gates, in essence, represents a branch, right? It's a branch in our computation. If so, um, return um, list.first equals equals target. Right, that's what this gate is representing, that if statement. Um, step three, divide, uh, or rather store first half, second half, and middle element. So that's what's happening here. Um, if the input list has a length other than zero, um, then we need to slice the list in half and store all the components. Um, so this handles that slicing. Send first half. R first half. Half, send second half. That should be a send. Cool. Um, OK. 
Okay. Step three, store first half, second half, and middle element. Um, send middle. R middle. Uh, I should probably do it like this so it looks a little bit better. Cool. Um, And this can go strictly beneath this, which is really where it ought to be. Uh, this should go way, way down. Um, sort of makes sense for these to all be side by side because they're sort of related. Uh, right. And this could be a little cleaner if it would look like this. Uh, print the step and do the loop. Okay. Print output down here. Um, step three, store first half, second element, and middle element. Um, Comment step four, compare middle element to target. Now we have a three-way branch here. If sec, if, um, so let's see, middle less than target, iterate, uh, Middle greater than target, iterate, middle equal target, return one. Cool, and that's the whole thing cleaned up somewhat, or at least made a bit bigger. I haven't even saved this yet. Okay, binary search. Okay, so that's binary search written in max and an imperative um, iterative style. It looks really, really sloppy. And, well not sloppy, but just complicated. I wish, I wish it didn't look like this. I wish it was just, I wish it just worked. Um, yeah, I'm sort of disappointed that it's this complicated. But I think this was a good exercise. It definitely shows um, some of the like some of the good and bad things about working with Max to do this style of programming. Um, so what? I mean, it is kind of cool that you can see beginning to end um, what actually happens at every step. And with it all spread out like this, it's actually fairly easy to stop, insert breakpoints. I mean, you could imagine each one of these. Um, connections lighting up and showing you what's flowing through the wire at that point um, and that kind of stuff but at the same time you know this is much much easier to read in, in actual code um, I wonder what the way there must be a way to think about how you can organize a patch and how you can organize computation in a patch to make this um, work a little bit better I'll have to think about that so step one, check if the input list is empty, if empty, return zero. So doing that check, um, it, it would be nice to, to, I just want, I want to have variables. I want to draw a line right here in my path.